Hello, hello! In a not so shocking turn of events, wow! One UI 8 was leaked, supposedly for Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Some people installed it, you can just go and watch Sam Mobile's video. They actually did a hands-on, and I'm surprised! It's just as, as similar as One UI 7, like there are probably just a tiny few changes, guys. The big question is, first, how the hell did Samsung do this? Second, why? why are they also working on One UI 8 and still not able to give One UI 7 to the people? And in this video I'm going to try to just take some minutes of your precious time and give you my standpoint. First thing, nothing really bad, Android 16 is knocking on the door, some Pixel users already are using it, and it's normal that Samsung will just plan things. Since One UI 7 is a big revamp to the One UI before, it's normal that they will also do development based on Android 16. But what is not so nice is the fact that apparently they're not really able to control the information and the firmware that got leaked. But also, since a lot of people are really paying so much attention to Samsung, they're scraping their servers for OTA updates, making breaking news, right? This video is also like this, by the way, I know. But the thing is, somebody uploaded the test firmware, somehow it got leaked, and now people got One UI 8 on S23 Ultra before getting One UI 7. So guys, let's be honest. It's not gonna be groundbreaking, it's absolutely like very early stages and we should not really care about One UI 7 so much. So at this point of time I'm just thinking, hey Samsung just get over One UI 7, give us One UI 8 stable for the S25 Ultra, right? Then, I mean that's your only move to just get ahead of everyone and people will forgive you. So get One UI 8 for the S25 series, maybe also for S24, right? I'm not, I'm not sure and then release One UI 7 for S23 and A53 and, uh, and etc guys. But as I speak, this is gonna cause some waves and it's gonna be a bit of a turmoil for Samsung to just try to understand that they're really, really here under the spotlight. This is Samsung working on One UI 7 and 8 and this is all of us just, you know, with huge binoculars under the microscope just overseeing, supervising every little step that Samsung is doing. And so far, I think they are doing a terrible job. Now, I have One UI 7 on my S25 Ultra, but apparently I'm missing features that I have on the One UI 7 for my S24 Ultra. And I'm not happy because I paid the top dollar for the S25 Ultra. If I would be only an S24 user, I also would not be happy because yesterday they posed the rollout. But what about the S23, S21, etc.? And what about the A-Series? So this is now calling for some urgent damage control. So Samsung, you have to pull your shit together and start controlling the damage that I guess you caused yourselves with the lame things that you did. And yeah, we have to call it out, guys. Just be better. It's Samsung, right? You're just not a random brand. You're one of the big guys out there and we all expect to be treated with a bit more of respect, transparency, and also with a bit more of a accountability. Anyway, guys, one UI 8, Licked, now this is all a rage. Stay safe, VST over, and bye.